Here today, mostly gone tomorrow. Welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 2018 multiplayer games that already failed. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at 2018 games featuring a multiplayer component that, whether due to bad luck or a lack of quality, have struggled to attract a consistent audience. New from Giannis Toys, Radical Heights action figures. Get your kids familiar with America's favorite game show. Number 10, Ark Park. On paper, Snail Games' spin-off to Studio Wildcard's Ark Survival Evolved sounds like a match made in heaven. A virtual reality experience that allows players to live through gaming's equivalent to Jurassic Park, Ark Park boasts a handful of jaw-dropping and downright mesmerizing moments. Unfortunately, the title loses steam when the gameplay shifts from an on-rail simulator to a bland shooter. Lacking content and held back by a number of design issues, Ark Park is best played in co-op mode, but most customers seem to have returned to Survival Evolved. Number 9, Earthfall. It's December 13th, 2031. Three months since the meteors. Three months since they came. Released in 2009, Left 4 Dead 2 continues to rake in over a thousand simultaneous players at any given moment. So one can understand why a developer would look to Valve's cooperative shooter for inspiration. Substituting zombies for aliens, Earthfall offers four players the opportunity to blast through ten levels of monotony, but the game is only really enjoyable with a group of friends and pales in comparison to Valve's masterpiece. With barely anyone playing online, Earthfall is almost as barren of a wasteland as an alien-infested post-apocalyptic Earth. Number 8. Gravel Going up against the likes of Forza, Gran Turismo, and Dirt, any new racer needs to deliver nothing but the best to stand a chance of lasting longer than a couple of months. An off-road racer offering arcadey fun, gravel is a bit rough around the edges, but the base game is enjoyable enough to be worth noticing. Sadly, the multiplayer seems to have never really taken off, with the game being all but dead on most platforms. Once the decent but relatively short single-player campaign is out of the way, there is really nothing to do in Gravel besides stare at the empty lobby screen. Number 7. Paintball War Due to not requiring a financial investment, one may be tempted to go easy on free-to-play titles. However, time is also a finite commodity, and the genre is way too crowded to give anything a pass. A multiplayer shooter with two gameplay modes and an okay gimmick, Paintball War requires some further polish to be worth recommending, but the game's play account has sunk like a stone since its June 2018 launch. Frankly, you may have a better chance of unearthing opponents by heading to an actual paintball arena. Any game that's not Pokemon Go that makes players want to go outside has messed up somewhere along the way. Number 6 Wild West Online An MMO set in Old West sounds, honestly, kind of fantastic. Sadly, this game is less the Wild Bunch and more Wild Wild West. To give credit where credit is due, Wild West Online's Steam page states that this is a PvP-focused MMO and people should not expect a detailed storyline or a robust PvE experience. While the honesty is appreciated, it does little to fix the MMO's rough shooting mechanics and the fact that PvP is a barren wasteland. 
Luckily, 2018 also coincides with the release of Red Dead Redemption 2. Number 5 Trailblazers Apparently, multiplayer-focused indie racers face quite an uphill battle for survival. A gorgeous game centering around team-based competitions rather than a sprint to the finish, Trailblazers comes painfully close to greatness, but the cool concept of painting the racetrack to provide your companions with a speed boost is let down by poor optimization and a reliance on AI due to the online failing to catch on. Even with cross-platform play enabled, Trailblazers simply cannot be recommended for multiplayer. Still, the visuals are quite pretty. Number 4 Tennis World Tour Two thousand and eighteen saw three major tennis games released across multiple platforms, but the only one that even came close to scoring an ace features a retired Italian plumber and an anthropomorphic dinosaur. Created by developers who worked on the excellent Top Spin 4, Tennis World Tour might be among the year's biggest disappointments. For one thing, the package launched without online multiplayer or double matches, so customers had no choice but to play through the okay but unspectacular career mode. When online play was finally added a month after launch, it was too late as its player base had already moved on to other titles. Who thought that was a good idea? <laughs> Number 3 Radical Heights Thank you everyone in our studio audience for being here today. Boy oh boy do we have an exciting show for you. We are just moments away from seeing if our contestants can grasp those. Radical Heights! After Lawbreakers failed to capitalize on the hero shooter's trend, Boss Key Productions shifted focus to battle royales. In a twist that should only shock Cliff Blazinski, Radical Heights' early access struggled to grab a slice of that Fortnite pie. When maps are specifically designed to cater around a hundred players, things get tedious rather quickly if only ten contestants take part. Less than two months after launch, Boss Key Productions closed its doors, so Radical Heights' days were numbered and, eventually, the servers went down. Number 2 Metal Gear Survive Konami's franchise is not really recognized for its multiplayer, but Survive is a Metal Gear game in name only. A survival action-adventure title with an over-reliance on tower defense missions, Metal Gear Survive is dull most of the time, but improves slightly after the co-op salvage missions are unlocked. Thing is, those aforementioned missions were the only multiplayer aspect of the game, meaning that if you were expecting a survival sandbox with multiplayer support, like literally any other survival game out there, you were out of luck. That's right, Konami made a survival game with multiplayer, and it didn't have a multiplayer survival mode. You had one job, Konami. A job that only you wanted. Number 1 The Culling 2 Guess what time it is! It's time for you to guess what I'm about to announce! Do you see any clues in these images? Lasting less than two weeks, we would be hard-pressed to think of another game that was greeted with such widespread apathy. An FPS battle royale, The Culling actually predates both Player Unknown's Battlegrounds and Fortnite Battle Royale, but was unique enough to stand out from the crowd. Alas, The Culling's popularity paled in comparison to the genre's big hitters, so a misguided sequel was hastily put together that copied PUBG's look and gameplay. Finding a full match was impossible straight out of the gate, and The Culling 2 closed its doors soon after with the developer promising to renew support for its predecessor. But most of all, it's Culling Lear! 
Did you sniff out all the clues? The Culling 2. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.